guys, it's Avery here, and today is going to be our Texas Teen Book Festival 2018 vlog. I just wanted to talk about the hotel that we stayed at in Irving. We stayed at the NYLO Hotel, and it has this super urban industrial feel, and I thought it was super cool. The lobby was super, like, new and urban, and I just really loved it, and I thought you guys would like to look at it, so this is where we stayed during the festival. Hello, lovelies, it's Avery here, and today is going to be our Texas Teen Book Festival 2018 vlog. Yesterday, I went and I saw the panels, I didn't see the panels, sorry. Uh, I went to the author luncheon that was hosted during the Educator Day with... Hey guys, I'm at the author luncheon and it is absolutely crazy in here. There's so many people, but it's gonna be really cool. We're sitting really near the front and so they're gonna be right up there. And then all the author tables are like right there. So it's really fun sitting right here. And we're at a really good spot. I got to meet Lee Bardugo and it's about to here and it was super fun and I had to be in line for Lee Bardugo two times because I had six books for her to sign but it was super fun and she was super nice like always and I got two Polaroids signed by them which is super fun and tomorrow is going to be the big festival so it's gonna be super crowded but we're so excited me and my mom and there's gonna drop the arcs of Save the Date by Morgan Matson and Love and Luck by Jen Evans Welch and those are the two books I really want. We got to pick up uh, one arc today from Macmillan because my mom pretended to be an educator and <laughs> and we picked up uh, Prom to Remember by Sandy Hall and that was what I was really wanting so it's, I'm so excited about that and now we're gonna go prom dress shopping. Whoop, whoop. It was super fun. They had the luncheon talking about diversity, and Lee Bardugo talked about the myths of being an author, which was super fun, and I loved getting to talk to them. Um, I also got my book signed by them yesterday, so I don't have to get into their signing lines today since that some of them are ticketed authors, which is going to be awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, my friends are going to be here today. Um, I'm really excited to see them, Lauren and Ashley, so I'm excited to see those girls again and then we're just gonna have a fun day at the festival um schedule sort of right now that I have planned is we're gonna go to a bunch of the um, publisher book buzzes because they're supposed to be giving out fun surprises and they're gonna be talking about the books coming up this year and so I'm super excited to hear about all of them and so that's what we're gonna go to and then there's some other fun uh, like stuff we're gonna do throughout the day but of course the publishers will be there so they'll be publishing tables and of course all the middle school kids that get piled in on buses so it'll be fun. I'll show you guys when we get to the Festival Convention Center. Yeah. Hey guys, so we're at the convention. It is absolutely crazy in here. There's so many people. The buses outside, there's like five of them when you're pulling in. So like, this is the room we're in right now, and it is packed full of people. Um, there's three publisher booths up here. I think it's uh, Riveted, um, I Read Rock A, and the audio Audible books over there. And so that's what's upstairs. Downstairs is like the Epic Reads and the Penguin Team and the Ticket Pass Outline. So that's what's happening right now. There's nothing really happening till 9 and it's like 8.30 right now. And 9 o'clock is the keynote. But I'm not going to get to that one because it's the middle grade keynote and I'm not really interested in hearing from that author. Um, so I'm going to get probably get in line for the meeting room 7, like Book Buzz at like, I think it is, I think it is 9.30 is when I'm getting in line. So, that's my morning. I already saw Ashley. Ashley was downstairs. Um, I haven't found Lauren yet, but Jay's still young. Um, I'll check in with you guys in a minute. The middle schoolers. Ooh. <laughs> True. I just have to 
attending my first panel, which was the Penguin Chain Book Buzz, and now I'm in line for the Epic Reads Book Buzz, because there was already a line when we left the panel, but it was really good. I got an arc of Seafire by uh, Natalia C. Barker, and I'm super excited about that one. It's another pirate book, and you know I guys love pirates, so I'm so excited to have that arc, and so I'm excited to see what books we get in this panel, and then what they're going to talk about. They talked a lot about the upcoming books, but it is a book buzz, so that's what it was. Um, my mom is upstairs with my friends just looking at the arcs that Riveted is passing out right now. So that is what's happening right now. It is currently 10.15, so yeah. Hey guys, we're now in line for the Cassandra Clare and Lee Bardugo like, panel right now. It was kind of a change of plans all of a sudden, but we're now we're in this really long line. There's a bunch of people. And I'm here with April. Hi. And Ashley. <laughs> doing totally the similar things. Like you created a universe and you're telling different stories in that universe and they're like connected but not the same. And I mean Hey guys, so we finished with a couple panels that Lee Bardugo and Cassandra Claire one was super fun. What did you think Ashley? I liked it a lot. Lee Bardugo is so funny and so creative and she's just my aesthetic queen. <laughs> she's super funny. She kept comparing her work to like compost and poop. Yeah, like she's, so funny. she's really funny. I like met her but I haven't like heard her at like, all. Yeah. yeah. It was really fun. And then we tried to go to the book buzz downstairs and it was full to capacity. So now we're just wandering around till the next panel because all the other panels started. <laughs> I'll let you know what comes up next. So we got done with all of the lines for book giveaways and stuff and it was exhausting because there were so many. I got kinked in the back. <laughs> the line what? wrapped around the room. I got shoved at least five times. Like, come on kids. And then downstairs there's two lines for arcs. The penguin one was closed and then the other ones lined up from 1.30 to like 2.30. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not like that. So. No. And so we tried to get into other panels and all the rooms are like full. Yep. And so we finally made it to a panel. Just sit down and relax. So we're gonna be here until we get in line for the signing. Yes. So that's awesome. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> oh, I'm exhausted and tired and the books are heavy. Books are a workout, guys. Yeah. My shoulders are like starting to hurt, kind of. Really. My shoulders hurt. Okay, we'll check in with you guys later. <laughs> but it is so, so long. And I think it is over there with, that's where Lauren's at. Uh, it has been absolutely crazy, crazy in here. But it was so worth it. I got so many good arcs today. And I don't know if you can hear me because it's really loud. I got so many good arcs today. I have so many authors I'm gonna meet and get my book signed by them. So it's overall really good. So I'm just waiting for the signing that should take place in an hour. My mom is upstairs with the last like art drop sort of thing where they're dropping the um, Morgan Madsen book, which is Save the Date. So I'm so excited about that one. And I can get it signed when I get through. There's about 10 authors that I'm gonna meet. So that's really exciting. And that's what I've got going on. So now I'm just gonna sit here and really read. cool like signing little shots I hope you liked um, but I got all the books signed that I need to get signed which was super fun and um, we're headed to dinner now because we're headed to Fuzzy's like after every North Texas Teen Book Festival and then I'll go through all the books when we get back to the hotel and show you guys what I got today which was a bunch of really fun awesome arcs and then show you all the books I got signed 
So I'll check in with you guys later so I can show you all the books. Hello, this is Avery here. Okay, it's after the festival and I have all my books lined up. I'm going to show you what I got and stuff like that. So the day before the festival, I want to show you the books I got at Half Price Books. I got One Dark Throne by Kinder Blake and I also got Nevernight. Those are the first two books I got. I got those at Half Price because I returned some books that I was unhauling. So those are the two I got from that. And then we're going to start with the books I got today. So the first book, I bought The Trader's Game. This is by Jennifer Nelson. And I got it signed by her. And then I also got uh, 12 Days in Dash and Lily by David Leviathan and Rachel Kahn. I got these signed as well. Um, the Bells by Danielle Clayton. I, got, I bought this one at the festival and got it signed. I'm so excited to actually have one of her books. And then... I brought my copy of The Cruel Prince to get signed by Holly Black. Holly Black was so nice. I'm so happy I got to meet her and have my book signed. Okay, now we're going to start with the arcs I got today. I got so many. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys. I got this weird graphic novel book, but I'll probably end up giving it to my brother. Sorry about the cord. Um, then I got Give Me Some Truth by Eric Gansworth. I don't really know what this one about, but look how cool the cover is, and it's probably about some rockers, and I'm excited to see what this one's about. The next book I got is by Monday's Not Coming, and this is by Tiffany D. Jackson. I've heard a lot about this on Bookstagram and on Twitter, so I'm excited to read this one and see what it's about. And then I got two copies of Victoria Schwab's arc that's coming out. It's called City of Ghosts, and it sounds really interesting. It's about a girl who died and is now alive, and she can go back between the world of ghosts and the world of the living. So it's very interesting and cool, and I'm so excited to read this one, and I'll probably be putting one up on Books for Trade. The next book I got was Letting Go of Gravity by Meg Linder. I don't really know what this one is about, but I'm excited to see what it has in store. Then I got this one. This one is the new Kirsten White book. It's The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. And it's so interesting. My friend Lauren was talking all about it. And I'm just wondering why it's so small. It's kind of like a smaller size book. And compared to her other books, it's very small. So I'm excited to see what that, what that one has. The next book I got was A Heart and a Body in the World. And I don't even know what this one is about. This is just when they were passing out mine and I picked it up. I'll give you guys a better synopsis on all of these books when I do my um, my haul at the end of the month. Then I got A Year of Living Awkwardly, Sophomore Year. This one is by Emma Castain, I think is what you call it. Yeah, that one looks like a fun contemporary for the summer, and it comes out in July. And then this one is Rabbit and Robot by Andrew Smith. Everyone was trying to get this book. I don't really know what it's about. I think it's a sci-fi fantasy sort of book. And it comes out in September. And then this one I'm really excited about. I got Smoke in the Sun by Renee Adier. This is the second book to A Flame in the Mist, which I don't have, which I'm going to get when I get home. And this book comes out in June of 2018. And it's very happy to have this book. And then... I think I have a second copy of Letting Go of Gravity. Love and Luck by Jen Evans Welch. I was really excited about this one that was coming out very soon. This one comes out in May. And I'm so happy to have the arc of this one. I loved Love and Gelato. And if you haven't seen my interview with Jen Evans Welch, check it out. It's on the channel. And then I got Invisible Ghost by Robin Schneider. I think this is another ghost story about people in the uh, like modern day seeing ghosts. This one looks really cool. This is called Sanctuary by Carlin Lynx. I'm pretty sure this is like a sci-fi adventure, so I'm excited to see what this one has in store. I also got From Twinkle with Love by Shindan Minan. This one is the same author as um, Rim When Rimple Met Rishi. And I'm so excited to see what this one has in store. All my friends loved A Rimple, and A Rimple Met Rishi. I'm excited to see what this one has in store. This one also comes out in May. This one I'm super excited about. You guys know my love for pirates. And I got Seafarer by N Natalie C. Parker. It is gorgeous. Do you see this cover? I love it. Love it. And it has a bunch of like little um, quote blurb things. And it's so pretty, and it's about Sisterhood of Pirates, and I'm so excited. This one comes out in August of 2018. The next book I got is Odd One Out by Nick Stone. This one is 
by the saw. Oh, no. This one is by the same author of Dear Martin, and I'm not sure if I'll end up reading this one because I feel like there's other people who could better give you guys a review for this one, so I might give it to someone on Books for Trade. The next book I got was People Kill People. This is by Ellen Hopkins. I haven't read anything by Ellen Hopkins, but I heard her works are absolutely amazing, so I may check this one out. And then I got two copies of See All the Stars by Kit Frick, and I have no clue what this is about, so yeah. And then this one I'm very excited about. It's Fickery Born by Claire Legrad. Legrand. I'm so happy about this one. I knew she was going to be at the festival. I didn't know they were going to be passing out arcs. I'm so lucky to have this arc. I wasn't in the panel that they are passing out arcs in, but I traded someone for it, and I'm so happy to have it. And I got it signed by her today. And I'm just so happy to have this book. It's so soft. And then I got a bunch of Polaroids because I was doing this for the festival and they're so fun and cute. That's another thing I did at the signing and they're just so fun. And that is all of the stuff I got at the festival today. Let me flip the camera around. So that was the festival today. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's a bunch of like short little clips. I was with Ashley and I was expecting her to vlog a lot too, but she, she was very tired and didn't vlog with me. So I kept forgetting to like get my camera out and vlog. So I hope the clips I got today were good. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and stay tuned for the next video coming out. Bye lovelies.